The Nurgle Sorcerer is ready to get nice and stinky and sweaty. Versus the Empire Boys, the Sons of Sigmar, the nerds. Alright, Harrison versus Tag. Now this is an interesting match. Here on this map. I don't know why this map changes from dusk and dawn. Or day and night. But I love it. Here we go, Tag playing Empire, Harrison playing the Stinky Boys, and since Harrison is playing the Stinky Boys, I have to give it up to Harrison. But Tag is not going to make it easy. He's already doing all these annoying things with his pew-pews and shooting out these poor, innocent pestigors getting all pew-pewed. It looks like Tag, although with the lower number unit count... Has control of the board. He's got his annoying outriders trying to get as much value as he can. Already up a hundred points. No, not even a hundred points. Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, that Pestigore shot didn't even get any value out of him. That's interesting. And on the side, you got Pestigores hiding in the woods. These. I, want, I was almost going to say Felbats, these poor- oh my- look at all that fire! <laughs> Jeez! Those poor Furies just got blasted! But Harrison is moving up the board slowly and steadily, doing exactly what Nurgle needs to be doing, just taking shots. Taking lots and lots of shots, maybe hopefully getting a pickup for one of these Outriders that just seem to be forgotten. And even- oh man, if it wasn't for the fact that those Furies were weakened, he probably could have easily picked up this unit of Outriders. And then only to get shot in the face for their troubles. Going for a triple cap already from er, from Harrison. Tag's got to figure out what he's going to do. Probably just push these Pestigors back with lots and lots of handgunner fire. And yeah, that's going to be the call. Shoot and shoot and shoot. I don't know. Slowly trying to whittle away against Nurgle. I don't know if that's actually a good play, seeing as how they can heal up. And just, once they cap, just push on back. Hide in the woods. Oh, I would hate to play in this matchup. Just playing against Empire and watch them go pew pew all game would just be obnoxious. I wouldn't have the patience. I would hate this kind of game. Where you just sit there, pull back, and wait. Just wait for your opponent to make a mistake. And yes, there's no Master Engineer with Steam Tank allowed. Um, yes, you can take the Master Engineer, but you can't take him on the Steam Tank. At least not in my Discord, not in my games. Fury's trying to chase off these Outriders now. Probably gonna get blasted by those rifles. And Gelt trying to slow them down. Man, that is just so annoying. Tag's already up almost a thousand value. Gonna get there, I bet, too. Look at those shots. Oh my goodness. The Searing Doom? I don't know if the Searing Doom was really necessary. Seems a little preemptive for almost a thousand damage, which isn't bad against Pestigors, but. Eh. I don't know. I think I would have saved those Wind Magic for something a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a good clump of units, which you know are going to happen. Tag now is just playing all cagey, trying to retake the side objective. Would have actually liked to see him try to take Harrison's home objective on the side. Oh, and here they come. I was wondering when these little bastards show up. I absolutely hate these units. The operators with grenade launchers. I feel like this is really what Harrison, or Harrison, what Tag needs is just something to delete, just mass units of infantry. Grenade launchers will do it. Yeah, those trees need to pick them up today. No, they need to pick them up yesterday, because if those things live, that is just nothing but trouble. Maybe get some Empire Knights to countercharge those Furies, and w just constantly grenade launch the front line, whittle them down, and then you can finally push forward. That would be my strategy. And yeah, Tag is up almost. Yeah, he's up <laughs> a lot more value than poor Harrison. Harrison decides, you know what? I'm done running. Time to eat some. And he comes in. Oh my goodness. Oh, those Nurglings. Those Furies did such 
damage. Holy shit. They were barely in there. There was barely a couple models in there too, no? They were weak as hell. And that's why we need Furies in our Chaos faction. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Looks like Chaos Knights are going to try to duke it out with Knights of the Black Rose. And I'm actually quite interested who wins that. I guess it's going to have to be the Chaos Knights because... Yeah, just the poison alone should be enough, and the fact that they're running away. And yeah, Harrison just surrounds, tag, gets a triple cap, and just goes on the offense. Good call. I feel like these Empire Knights were just so late. But they're doing work. Work that they can. Just backline charges and everything. Those grenade launchers need protection because those Pestigords are about to get in there. Yep. Yep, and the long rifles. I don't know. I really don't like the long, or long rifles here. I guess if you're gonna fight... Yeah, I, I don't like long rifles here. I don't know. Like, what else does Nurgle bring into this... He, they're not gonna bring Tamarcon. They're not gonna bring Kugath. Well, they might bring Kugath. Kugath wouldn't be the worst. But there's so many ways to counter Kugath in Empire. It's... Yeah, I don't think Kugath is really worth it. I mean, you technically could hide him in the middle of that tower behind it and just try to get side shots on whatever infantry you could. But it's a big gamble. But you guarantee you get the set. Nah, not even guaranteed. With how many Outriders and... Yeah. I just don't think Kugath, so it has to be the Sorcerer. And the Sorcerer has to play very cagey, because... He can get absolutely sniped with how many Outriders and Long Rifles, but... Harrison pulled it off, trying to catch, almost catching up in value too. And I'm surprised, yeah, as soon as those Furies drop, I would just force those Outriders to go into melee mode and just charge the Furies. Because you won't beat them, you don't beat Furies by beating them in combat, you beat Furies by just surrounding them and having them crumble, disintegrate, whatever you want to call it. The best way to do that, just counter. Counter charge, surround, bam. Oh, and then it's just a mess from here on out. Harrison, they're technically gonna need a triple cap Harrison at this point. Uh, yep. Does a final trend on top of those Chaos Knights. Those Chaos Knights get out of there, but thanks to how the formations work with AI, they're just gonna go all the way back <laughs> and cause more damage than they would like. Sucks, but it is what it is. Beautiful stream. Oh my goodness. Stream corruption is beautiful from Harrison. Yeah, this is just... Oh my goodness. Like, I always thought Harrison would be the underdog, but he brought the perfect type build for dealing with this mass gun line. And there's a similar amount of units going on, but the healing, the Furies, the fact that there's no stupid steam tank. I don't know. I don't know about Gelt. Gelt just seems like a weird, weird choice here. I think just a Firecaster would have been absolutely fine. But then you risk Rant of Visitation. But you also risk it right now anyways, and I don't know. I don't know. Rant of Visitation. Ugh. Maybe even a Lanchet would... Actually, a Lanchet might have been fantastic here. Just rolling on through most of these infantry units. Yeah. I think that would have been the call. Instead of bringing these long rifles. Like, what are Furies going to do to it? Get run over? Yeah, Lanchet would have been perfect. Back it up against Ogres with a bunch of pistols. Outriders. Yeah. I mean, the steam tank is easily the best call, but... Yeah, I think we're going to be done here soon. There's not much tag can really do. It's throwing away units at this point. Furies are just on top of everything. Knights aren't where they need to be, which is counter-charging into the Furies. Pestigords are just all over the place, and... I mean, tag has the center, thank goodness, but... He tried making a push onto the home objective... But Toads and Nurglings are gonna, and Pestigors are just gonna beat back those Knights of the Black Rose. The Sorcerer just will keep healing up, even getting blasted. But yeah. Just too many guns, too many guns. I think instead of long rifles, maybe try to get a land ship and just mow through everything. 
get some cheap spearmen and whatever you can. Go for the flame caster and just burn away everything. And if it's not burned by then, just chase it off with the land ship and do that combo until there's no more infantry. So yeah, GG's tag, GG's Harrison. But yeah, I want to mainly show that as a way to play around against these big shooty factions. Big shooty shooty factions. Oh, and that was a great map for shooting too. Nice wide open center. One big tower. And yeah. Alright, looking at the values. Poor Chaos Knights. The Furies probably were MVPs, no doubt. Even, yeah. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah, had Tag just intercepted them, I think this would have been his game to win. Those grenade launchers would have absolutely won him the game, just deleting unit after unit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe if you like the video, if you enjoyed it. Come join me on the Discord, come play on the stream, or just show some love. I appreciate both. Or, you know, come play against somebody else, or get into the free-for-all, or 2v2s. <laughs> Alright, folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.